Hello, my old school soul food family. <clears throat> Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, this is another one of them educational videos. I've been getting requests, and uh, these are videos people need to watch, but they don't watch. I'm going to show y'all today how I save my food. I vacuum seal my leftover food for later, and how I cut my pineapple. People want to know how I cut my pineapple. You know, I love pineapple. I keep it in my refrigerator. Usually strawberries, too, in my fridge. And that's what I snack on a lot throughout the day and evening time and night. That's one of my snacks that I go to. You know, like I say, I'm almost 30 pounds in the past two months. I've lost. I got about 20 more pounds to go trying to lose. And this has always been one of my snacks. Pineapple and strawberry, I love it. Yeah, so it's just kind of low. I'm not on a weight loss program. I'm just eating better and exercising. Now that I'm retired, it's easy to do that. But I'm gonna show y'all how to cut a pineapple, how I vacuum seal my my uh uh food. Okay, look here, y'all. Y'all remember yesterday? I think it was yesterday. I made a bake uh uh baked spaghetti. I told y'all I was gonna freeze it in my vacuum seal bag and put it in my freezer. My friends called me and close friends and stuff. They kid me saying I'm a food geek. Cause the way they look at my freezer, my it's so organized, so they can go in there, I can tell them, go in there and get some macaroni and cheese from last month. A macaroni and cheese is dated such and such. I can pretty much tell them where it is, what's the date on it, and all that. It's all organized. I got all my starchy one side, my vegetables on one side, my protein one side. I'm just organized like that. I'm just organizing my life. Y'all saw my video for how to, uh, how to uh, become successful. I'm just like that. In my home, and just finance everything. I'm just a geek. They say, are oh, you a geek like that? I am. Like I say, tell people, I'm just a weird, boring guy. But I'm going to show y'all how I do this. So first thing I do, let me set this back here off the side. I'm going to label my bags. I already did six of them. I figure I'm going to get six out of this pan here. Normally I do. So I label my bags. And I buy these. These are interchangeable. You go online, I got these here back. I'll buy a hundred at a time. I buy the pints and buy the quarts. You can buy the bigger ones, I'm, but I don't buy no gallon size because I'm not just a shrink wrap nothing that's a gallon. That's too much food for one bag. So nothing I'm going to shrink wrap for a gallon. It's usually a quart or a pint. And I get these off Amazon cheaper. It's a Western brand. Like I say, you can go in. Make sure they say they compatible. It'll say on there, compatible with other vacuum systems. That's very important because some don't work with others to so make sure they're interchangeable. So I got Chroma 5 here. I got two vacuum seal bags. You know, this one I promoted about two years ago, Chroma 5. All vacuum seal bags are awesome piece of equipment. They're not that expensive. That's why when I get one, I can get a company to send me one with a major discount. I always share it with y'all. So first thing I do, I get a bag and there's a rough side of the bag and there's a smooth side of most bags. And on the smooth side, all I do, I take a shorty, I put what it is, this is gonna be baked spaghetti. P-A-G, I just, I don't like the whole spaghetti, it's baked spaghetti. And the day is 3-7-22, that's it. That's all I do. I date and label it, that's it. That way I know how long it's in the freezer. I never let, another thing, I never let food stay in my freezer no longer than three months. You can let it stay longer than that. I'm very adamant about that. I do, every three months, I do inventory in my freezer, what I got in it, what needs to go, what needs to be given away. Like in two weeks, I'm taking a lot of stuff to the country, to my aunt's house, which she, she don't cook as much. My mom's the younger sister. She don't cook as much as she used to. She's got elderly too. I take a lot of food to her and I'm gonna give it to her. But she takes care of my uh, cousin. It's kind of, uh, uh, um, disable herself. So all they gotta do is pull out, warm up. Everything's cooked already. She loves it. She already told my mom, "Well, we ain't coming down. Tell them bring some more food. Tell her I got a lot of food. I'm about to run out of room in my freezer that have stuff labeled. So it's coming down to her in two weeks. So this is what I do. I label this much uh, with my uh, uh, shorty. Now this here, I'm thinking I'm gonna get. Probably around six pieces. I did, so what I do, like I told you last night, let this cool, of course, this is cool from last night. Go down there, and I'll try to get six pieces out of here. I mean, it don't have to be perfect measurements, y'all. There we go. There we go. And these 
two pieces I'm going to save for lunch. Matter of fact, I'm going to eat those for lunch. Now, what I do now is to the side over here, get my bag. And sometimes it'll get a little messy, depending on what it is. Scoop it out of here. Come up. Into there. Open the bag up already. Trying to do this on video, and that ain't going to do right. Just put it right in there like that. And after I do it, I'm going to come back and clean the bag off because the bag can get kind of messy, y'all. Okay. Move this up out the way. Put this right over here. Like I said, I try to take a towel here if it's kind of messy on the top so it don't get my machine too messy. Let me go. Now, all I do... Get my food saver here. Make sure it's completely a little seal in there. It's right in there in that hole. Push it down, push it down, vacuum seal. And it's gonna shrink wrap it just like that. Let's see, all vacuum seal sometimes it takes long and sometimes it's shorter. This one takes about, maybe about 30 seconds. Get it like I really want it. I look at the light, the light goes off. I mean, it's off. I click these buttons and look at this. I got baked spaghetti, see that? Baked spaghetti in my freezer. Whenever I want it, I pull it out. Usually I don't eat no more than this. If I do, I'll have some, maybe some more vegetables on the side and some garlic bread or something like that. Let me show y'all. Set this to the side. Let me do another one here to show y'all. Then I'm going to knock this out. And then I'm going to show y'all how to cut a pineapple. Y'all stay tuned. I'm going to show y'all how to cut a pineapple. Okay, get the bag here. Get a little spaghetti up. And you have to make sure it's completely cool when you do this. Don't put nothing in the bag that's hot. It's not going to work as well. Throw it in there like that. Take it down. Like I said, I like to, like I said, sometimes it'll touch the egg of the bag. I like to wipe that down so it don't get the inside of my hoop saver dirty. Take it down there. Put it right in here. Set down. Vacuum seal. Very simple, y'all. And it's, this is so cost saving. Sometimes I'll buy chicken in bulk, like chicken thighs, like 10, back, 10 pounds at a time. Shrink wrap it. You know, the cost of food and how the food is uh, uh, right now is so um, expensive. This is the best way to go. Okay. Usually 10 seconds. There we go. Put that off. Look at that. Baked spaghetti whenever I want it in the freezer. So I'm going to step off here, y'all. I'm going to get the other ones done. I'm going to come back, and then we're going to cut that pineapple. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Okay, y'all, I got them all. And another thing I'm going to show y'all. The reason I use this, this is, happens a lot. I like this much length in the bag left. That's why I use a bigger bag for a smaller product. Because sometimes it happens that I don't want to use all this. So I'll cut this open. If I take whatever I want out of there, then I have this much room left to revacuum it. So if you have this much space, say if you use too much, you won't have enough room. That's why I like, I very like to have this much. Now, all, all I do, I wrap that down, and when I put it in the freezer, I stack them just like this. See that? Nice and stackable in the freezer. And some people say, why do you label everything? Because number one, I might, when this stuff freeze, and you got all that stuff in the freezer, you're not going to know what it is, I'm telling you. And another thing, like when I'm taking it to my and stuff like that, I got right now seven different things to take to her. I got chicken and dumplings. I got turkey and dressing. I got uh, red beans and rice. I got uh, pinto beans and ham hogs. I got creamer peas and ham hogs. I got uh, smothered chicken in there. I got barbecue chicken in there and barbecue ribs. All that's going to her. And it's all vacuum sealed and... When she need it, she can just look at the label, read it, and that's it. You don't have to wonder what's in the bag and throw it out and wonder what it is. Because when all them bags freeze together, I'm telling y'all, it looks the same. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to step off again. I'm going to clean up here. I'm going to come back. I'm going to show you how I cut my pineapple up. 
because time for me to refill my pineapple bowl. So anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back. Like I told y'all, I love pineapple. And this pineapple right now, I can tell it's not completely right. When I look for a pineapple, now I kind of squeeze it. Of course, it, it shouldn't be where you can squeeze it. That means it's overripe. I look for the little yellow one at the bottom. And then it should be yellow all the way up to the top. But this is fine. Because I got a few more. I got one more day of pineapple in there. So what I'm going to do when I cut this, I'm going to set in the refrigerator a couple of days. It'll definitely be up to the sweetness that I want. So let me show you what I do, y'all. Hold on just a second here. Let me get my trash can over here where I can throw this. Throw the peelings in the trash as I go here. First thing I do, I cut this top off. I lay it down here, cut the top off. And I can tell, like I said, it needs another day sitting in the refrigerator before it's ripened. I cut the top off, then I cut the bottom off. That's very important. Now I got a soft, I have a, a flat bottom to work with. And I make sure you use a serrated knife, a brick knife for this. And all I do, I just go around the edge just like this. Make sure you get as close as you can to the pineapple. That's pretty much it. That's it there. Get rid of this. And you're still working on that flat bottom. Now, next thing I do, I'm going to cut this in four pieces. I need to take this core out. And I'm going to show y'all the easiest way to take this core out of this pineapple. I'm going to cut it once down here. Turn it this way. Make sure you go on the flat edge. Make sure you be careful with this. See? Flat. Flat. And they got pineapple cores out, y'all. Two. You want to be fancy with it, but I just use a knife. All I do now, you got to be very careful. I stand it up. Cut the core out right here. There's the core. Let me show you again here. I wish I could show y'all that way, but I can't because where I'm where my hand is. Make sure it's good and solid. Make sure it's steady. And just go down right there against the kind of see that? Core is right there. Show you again. So you got the flattest surface you got. You go this side. Be very careful. Oh, I tell y'all use a serrated knife. It's easier for it to control and it's easier to put the uh the cut. Last one here. That's it. Core is right there. You got the core out. And then I'll just go around the edge and get the little little brown pieces that didn't come off initial. They gonna kill you. Now, next thing I do, I'm gonna cut it in cubes. What I do, I go one, two, three. I do three slices like that. See that? Three slices like that, then I go to the go to the edges like this. Then I got my pineapple cube just like this. See that? Oh, this one's pretty sweet. Hmm. Let me show y'all again. One. I'm gonna cut three slices. Put it together. One, two. Uh oh, hold on. There we go. The other one here. Make sure you grip the pineapple. See? I never cut stuff on camera a lot. I think it's boring, but people wanted to know how I cut my pineapple. That's it. It's all cut up in chunks. And what I'll do, I got my bowl here. Pretty sweet. I have my bowl. What I do, pick it up, put it in my bowl right here, y'all. See that? My pineapple bowl. Everybody know don't go in my pineapple bowl. People know don't go in Jeffrey's pineapple bowl. It's in the refrigerator. Clean my board off here. And that's it. I'll cover it up. I got pineapple for the week. Now you last me a week. Maybe 10 days. Yeah. 
Very easy, very simple. But I do want to show y'all those two videos. I know it prompt to, it's supposed to be big breakfast of the week, uh, the day, but I wanted to do this one. Also, uh, tomorrow I got impromptu. I'll give y'all a little hint. It's going to be banana muffins. Beautiful, moist banana muffins. Come out the oven with some butter on it. It's another hidden pleasure of mine. That's coming up tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, y'all, just a little impromptu video, a little changing up. Like I say, every video ain't going to be according to schedule. I'm going to change it up sometime. So, instead of big breakfast of the week, I want to do a little a little this educational video so anyway y'all let me close this video out if you like this video please share please comment please subscribe please follow my other social media account facebook youtube instagram twitter twitch tv pinterest and oldschoolsoulfood.com remember the hashtag 2022 helping others with a purpose old school soul food until next time have a blessed old school soul food day and i will see y'all in the next video love y'all bye